Please take your seats. I'd like to welcome uh, towards uh, the award ceremony Ms. Jan Levine, Deputy Political Counselor at the U.S. Embassy of Tel Aviv, if you please. Thank you for honoring this uh, competition. Thank you. I know you all have had a very long day, so I will keep my remarks short. I'd like to congratulate all the participants who came here today to participate. I have some short remarks. Protecting our citizens, employees, and students is a major challenge for governments, businesses, and schools around the world. All of us face this challenge together. No one country has all the technical solutions or new security products to meet the evolving threats in the air, at sea, on the ground, or in cyberspace. For five years, the global security challenge has been one of the tools used by the United States government through the Technical Support Working Group, also known as TSWG or TISWIG, to find, recognize, and financially support small, innovative security companies from around the world. The goal is to help them get their products into the marketplace where they can be used. In addition to the direct funding support to the winners of the finals held in London each year, the spotlight that the Global Security Challenge shines on these companies has attracted over $104 million of private sector investment, ranging from equity positions to buyouts. That is better than a 40-fold leverage of the government's investment, which is pretty impressive by any standard. The reach is global. In a few hours, companies from the United States and Canada will contend at the Australian Embassy in Washington for the Eastern North American semifinals before a similar panel of judges from government, industry, academia, and the investment community. Three weeks ago, companies from Australia, New Zealand, and India, and Japan squared off in Sydney in the Asia-Pacific semifinals. Next week, the Western North America and the United Kingdom semifinals will take place in London and in San Diego. The finals will be held in London at the end of October. Two years ago, adaptive imaging technologies from Yokneam Elite emerged the winner in the startup category. In addition to their prize, TISWIG arranged demonstrations of their video surveillance system with the United States Park Police in Washington for civilian security agency customers and at the largest United States military security product show in May. The global security challenge is good for business and good for security. We would like to thank the MIT Enterprise Forum and the companies and Israeli government agencies and judges who made this event such a tremendous success again this year. You heard the company pitches this morning and afternoon. Now let's see what the judges decided based on their review of the written submissions, the pitches, and their private question and answer sessions. Um, is there any particular order to how we do this? Okay, let's start then with the Middle East startup winner. Middle East startup winner, winner is Defog. Which is the token for? Is that that one? Okay. Thank you. Come around. We'll do Europe startup winner next, and congratulations go to Arctis Radiation Detectors. Europe startup winner, which is the correct one? 
Yeah. 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 In the Middle East Small and Medium Enterprise winner uh, category, the winner is C4 Security. And in the Europe Small Medium Enterprise category, the winner is Admitio SL. I have that one in back. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, Thank me. Good luck to the winners at the finals next month in London. Yes. Uh, each of the five, each of the judges will come and speak to the runner-ups and give them feedback. Yeah, so in my, uh, I gave the prize to Auktis and the runner-up is uh, from Turkey, InfoDiv. Info, yeah, nice work and we are sorry that we can give only one. So keep the good work. Um, which one? <laughs> Who is our runner-up on here? Uh, I think uh, uh, I'm not sure there was one. For all of the contenders, you were all very impressive. You made life very difficult for the judges, and it's cruel and unusual punishment to try and pick the best out of so many good people. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you. We, we had some very close calls and some very strong arguments on both sides. And uh, we, of course, had the constraint of time, so we, uh, we had to make some decisions. But, uh, but uh, very competitive, very interesting ideas, and, uh, and I believe that uh, even if you're not a winner, quote, winner here, you're, you still win because of your meeting investors and customers and partners and and, uh, and this whole process is is a win. Thank you. Well, what can I add to, to that? It was really tough. And I can tell you that personally I was enriched by some brilliant ideas that were brought up in this session. And I also find opportunities in merging and cooperation between companies here. And I believe that all of you have a brilliant future in with those uh, ideas so I congratulate you all I wish to thank you all all the competitors and all the judges special thanks for Jonathan uh, Slater and the uh, Omnicompete Jonathan would you like to say something yes. <laughs> um, this is the first time we've uh, done uh, two regionals in the same location, and I think it actually has worked very well. And my thanks to the judges for all their hard work in deciding this. Uh, wasn't easy, and uh, I think my clock watching got to them a little bit. Um, but uh, thank you to the winners. Congratulations to the winners. Um, before you leave, can you come and talk to me? Um, but I invite everybody here, if they would like any information on the London final, um, there's some sheets here that give information. It's on the 24th and 25th of October. It's called Pitch Live. It's part of a much larger event. We're giving away nearly 
a million dollars in prizes over the course of two days in energy, health, se main line security and cyber security. And uh, it's a large scale event that will be happening in London. About 500 people will be attending. So if any of you are interested, happily talk to me. Uh, any questions, let me know. And thank you very much also to the MIT Forum for all their hard work and making this happen. And thank you very much.